whatnot, right? So one of the things you see a lot of in longsword sparring or even just longsword practice cutting is that if a strike is coming from one side and then there's a follow-up to the same side, oftentimes they'll use the same edge. So for our purposes, we use red for the long edge or true edge and then blue for the short or false edge. So you'll see a lot of times when someone will cut with a Zorn or a Mandrito, and they'll come around and cut with the same edge for a Tondo or a Middle How or whichever terminology you want to use. A good drill to get over that might be to teach students how to cut and then immediately follow up on the same line with the opposite edge. See here I followed up the long edge with the short. For flat cuts, this is really easy. Cut across to the waist, cut up to sort of like a Zverkow type position. And same thing from the other side. Long edge, short edge. It works for rising cuts too. Long edge, short edge. Long edge, short edge. Long edge, short edge. And you can even do it for vertical cuts. Do a long edge cut here, short edge. From the opposite side, long edge, short edge. And then this way we can flow a little bit better rather than having to do these clunky type movements where we're striking and then pulling back. We can just use momentum cutting like you see with the Portuguese montante. I can just keep doing these cuts and following up even on the same line with the opposite edge. That way we're not just being clunky, easy to read fighters. Just a thought. Oh, the other thing that this helps avoid is hammer gripping of the blade. So a hammer grip is when you're just gripping it as tight as you can, not much play in the fingers. So if I try to hammer grip this, what tends to happen if I do this drill is that I get these flat strikes where you're actually hitting with the flat of the blade. So if you're doing this drill right, what it should help teach you is to have some play in the hands. Each time I cut, the hand has to relax and change shapes in order to work. And then that way, we'll be avoiding clunky strikes, we won't be hammer gripping the sword so much, and we can actually start, you know, using the art.